We are now with Patrick Björche from McMurray Distillery. He is experience manager. Did I say that correctly? Yeah. Okay. You did. And he shows us around in the Whiskey Village. Uh, Patrick, tell us what's the Whiskey Village actually? The Whiskey Village is uh, basically a place that we have created where people that really enjoy life can meet each other. So uh, whiskey enthusiasts and food enthusiasts come, come together for this um, yeah, touristic place. So both uh, the, the locals uh, have this as their uh, living room and uh, guests from all over the world come here for enjoy our whiskey of course, mm -hmm. but also uh, taste some, some really nice uh, food and uh, have, a, have a good time. Uh, in the surroundings where they can uh, visit the distillery and one of our warehouses and of course the maltery where we are standing uh, right now. But yes, actually we are here in the maltery and that's uh, rather rare nowadays that you have a maltery of your, of your own. So tell us a little bit about it. Patrick. Yeah, it's definitely a rare thing. We are one of very, very few distilleries that are malting our own barley and uh, we're not just malting it here we are also preparing for smoking it uh, over a peat fire in a container uh, next to this building so uh, Orkan is taking care of the, uh, the growing uh, barley at the moment uh, making sure that it uh, doesn't grow too fast uh, so that we get lost of the, 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 the sugar that we want to extract it's a very, very tough job, isn't it, Håkan? You need yes, to be strong. <laughs> <laughs> so how long does the barley uh, rest here on, on the mountain? Uh, just now, 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And we will uh, three days. Three days. Okay. And with the warm out, it takes two days. And it goes down to the container where you... Uh, where we smoke it. We smoke it. And let's go there and have a look at that. Let's... Yeah, and this is the peat, isn't it? This is the peat, and this is also very locally. Uh, it's from a, a, a peat, crust, uh, a torf, torf place <laughs> uh, called Karin Mossam. Uh, so just uh, a couple of kilometers in that direction. And we use uh, peat or torf, just like they do um, traditionally in Scotland or the islands. Uh, but we um, also considered that we needed to find a more exclusive and um, unique kind of uh, smokiness, peatiness. So we also um, put some uh, twigs of juniper, Wacholder, ah, I see, uh, yeah. into the glue, which creates uh, a smoke and uh, a character that's very, very typical for the Swedish and the Scand Scandinavian countries when it comes to curing uh, uh, a fish and um, all kinds of uh, charcuteries. So it brings out some uh, very well-known Swedish character. Right. And now let's have a look at the smokery. Yeah. So this is basically a rebuild uh, container uh, where we have a floor, uh, mid-high, uh, perforated floor with, uh, where we put uh, all the barley and uh, the smoke is led in, into here. It's and Håkan and uh, the other guys is uh, turning it around a couple of times during the, the smoking period. It's a pity you can't, can't really smell it on the video. Because but, but you can. I can, <laughs> and it's a beautiful smell. It is. I love it. That's where the, uh, the peat is burnt? Yeah. Exactly. So the peat and the juniper. Mm -hmm. And he also often starts the fire with a couple of staffs from an old cask, for example. Right. So the, the circle is, uh, yeah, you know. And they will um, restart this in uh, tomorrow right. for the next, next batch of uh, barley. So tomorrow it will be a um, uh, really nice smell from this place. So probably we'll see it tomorrow then. Yeah, hopefully. So you talked about uh, the Whiskey Village. Uh, what, what else belongs to the Whiskey Village? Well, you can, uh, you can spend uh, an hour for lunch, <laughs> but you can also spend a weekend uh, exploring everything about how we produce and how we enjoy things, uh, both from our whiskey and the gin, of course, 
but also from how we explore tastes when it comes to the thing we eat. We, we love to, uh, for example, uh, make creations of classic Swedish meals into something new, the new generation of, of classic dishes. And uh, depending on uh, what your interest is uh, into. But the common thing is that this is a place where you can really relax and enjoy things. We have uh, guests from all over the world, especially from Germany. People coming uh, uh, alone on a motorhome or in bigger groups. Uh, and if you come with your motorhome, we have uh, set up places where you can uh, stay the night, or two nights. <laughs> Uh, so you can uh, enjoy some whiskies, <laughs> of course. Yeah, of course. And uh, especially for Swedish um, uh, companies and uh, groups, we also have uh, a lot of meetings, uh, from the small board meeting up to an uh, anniversary or something, where, where they have uh, all facilities uh, you can imagine for having a meeting or a conference. Yeah, and do you have a restaurant in there? Yeah. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. So this is the restaurant here at McMurra and I noticed there are a lot of, of local people here uh, as well. Mm -hmm. That's because the, the, the kitchen is so good? The, the kitchen is really good. The lunch is uh, really, really one of the best uh, in this area. Today is a very special day because yesterday was a bank holiday, uh, so we are not that uh, crowded today. Uh, most of the, the Swedes are uh, on vacation and uh, yeah, relaxing on other places today. But this is a, it's a nice restaurant where you can enjoy a good lunch or a really nice a la carte uh, during the evenings. Uh, and of course, the bar is also uh, quite heavily overloaded of Macmillan expressions. And I, I would suggest that you get some whiskies here you don't get anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and a living cask up to the left, for example. I see. So you can have a dram straight from a cask which is uh, a nice experience. Patrick, as much as I love interviewing you, I'm gonna have a meal now because you really <laughs> wet my mouth. Thank you for sharing your time with us. And Thank you. Have a nice day. And I hope you will enjoy the, the lunch. Ah, certainly. Yeah.